What if I told you there's only really five things you need to succeed in cryptocurrency or only five things that really matter? So let me tell you a story between our two favorite characters, Jeffrey. So Jeffrey's done with cryptocurrency. He believes it's one big giant scam that only all of the elites make all of the money. Jeffrey wasn't always like this. He tried crypto before, one bad trade left him a sour taste in his mouth. Now real quick, how many of that was us in the last bull run? Mine was the Celsius bet, a lot of people was the Luna's bet, how many people betted on Axie Infinity and Solana at the top. That's the thing, man. One bad trade can honestly just get you out of cryptocurrency, even though you've seen what it did for the other guys on the early side of the table. We were just a little bit too late on these trades. We were just a little bit too late. And chances are, even me on Celsius, I actually was, I was writing that coin up and, you know, the platform, it was paying good until it wasn't. Luna. I know people that got on Luna one, two, three, four dollars. It rid it up past a hundred. It was just greed that left them that sour taste because they made all the money on the table. The the, the paper gains were there. Just didn't realize them. Jeffrey doesn't actually hate crypto. So a lot of these guys they don't actually hate crypto. They made money. He just doesn't want to lose money again. Because how 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 sucks does that feel to lose money, especially when you made money and you could have realized those gains and just done anything you want. You know, you're talking 100x's on Luna, the guys that lost all the money. 100x wasn't enough, really bro? <laughs> 100x? Show me a 10x right now, I'd love it. And that's what's sad about most Jeffrey's investors. You know, they want in, but they never do. And then most of the Jeffreys in this next bull run, God forbid them, they're going to buy at tops, and it's far too late. But for us, Sucks to say this, but we need Jeffreys. We need to sell to these Jeffreys for us to make the money, right? The people that maybe sold to you and me in the last bull run, they needed us. They needed the newbies getting involved in the game, and they needed exit liquidity. That's the game, man. It is the game. Now, we have an Adonis investor. He's on the very much same as Jeffrey. He knows a 2025 bull run game, okay? this I want this to be you, okay? If you're watching this video, and you're not scrolling TikTok, scrolling Instagram to get some dopamine right now because you've lost your mind, you know where 2025 is going to be, okay? Or why else would you watch this video? You might be down on your portfolio, but he gets that we're going to be higher in the bull run, right? That's why we're still investing right now. You know, if you're still investing right now, there's only one reason why you're investing. It's because you believe the 2025 bull run is going to repeat the 2021, the 2017, and 2013 you know that's going to happen. Or why else would you be investing? You don't just chuck money in a fire, okay? You're just trying to get as many coins as you can to sell for the dollar value in the bull run. So he's working super hard today. And if that's you, keep working, man. I'm recording these videos. I'm working. I don't have to record these videos, but I want more coin. I'm greedy. I don't want to have to hold to 100x prices. I don't want to play that game anymore. I'm fine with a 10x for most of my coins. So I want to keep working, which is this, and accumulate more coins. And if you're working that nine to five, if you're working that sales job, keep doing that and keep investing because this is going to give your future self. We talked about in the last video how you can rob from your future self or how you can give to your future self. How you can give to your future self right now is you keep working, keep expenses low within means and then you can realize those gains. Give it to your future self and that's going to set yourself free. Here's the sad reality and this is kind of actually sad. These two characters that are made up, by the way, duh, but they're actually real because there's a lot of these people right now that want to have a good bull run. They're, they're exactly the same people if you think about it. They want the same thing. They want to be able to quit their job. They want to be able to retire. They want to be able to travel the world. But the only thing that's different is this thing up here, their mental strategy of crypto investing. You see, this guy, this guy can't handle swings in the market. This guy can't handle logging on his crypto portfolio and seeing a 10% discount. And thinking, oh crap, should I just sell? This guy can't handle. He wakes up at 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m. in the morning when he goes for his morning pee before he goes back to bed to get up from his crusty eyes and eat his McDonald's drive through on his way to work. He panics when he sees his portfolio is down 3%. See this guy? Same thing. He doesn't panic though. He gets excited because he knows when that paycheck's going to get paid at the end of the month or every bi weekly or every weekly. He knows that, okay, I've got this much dollar value. This coin is still cheap. I can accumulate mo more coins this week. Fantastic. The same people, but their just mindset is totally different. And that's all you need in this cryptocurrency bull run. 
It's a strong mindset. There's some other strategies. I believe there's only five things that you need to succeed in crypto. But the most important one is just your mindset, man. If you can have a strong mindset in anything you do, before we get into this list, if you go to the gym consistently and you eat a healthy diet, you'll lose body weight, you'll live longer, you'll get a six-pack, you'll get some muscles. The Jeffrey, he'll start eating clean for three days. He'll go to the gym and he's like, where's the gains? He'll invest in cryptocurrency after three days. He's like, oh, I lost money. Where's the gains? This is, uh, I can't handle this. It's just the mindset, man. So step number one, or the first thing you need, is you need to actually be able to get in the game. Okay? If I was interested in crypto here, I don't know what year this was. I think it was 2018, maybe. Maybe even before that. It wouldn't even have mattered if I knew the next 100 coin because I made 2K at my job and I spent 2K. This was me. <laughs> Talked about this in the last video. I was on Facebook Marketplace just looking for couches. I couldn't go to DFS in the UK. It's a shop. I couldn't go to Curry's. I don't even know. No, Curry's don't even sell sofas. They sell like electronics. Basically, I couldn't buy a couch, right? Because I was making 2K and I was spending 2K. So how was I supposed to get in the game if I had no expendable income at the end of the month? Wouldn't even matter because I didn't even have a dollar to my name. I made 2K. At the end of the month, I had 2K expenses. So I couldn't invest in anything in crypto. Didn't matter. Didn't matter if you give me a million X coin. I couldn't even put one single dollar in the game. So rule number one, or the first thing you need to succeed in cryptocurrency is you need to have income at the end of the month. Most of you guys are probably going to have jobs. Okay, great. But if you're making 2K and you spend 2K, you're fucked. <laughs> okay? You, you, so what you have to do, is, it sucks, but you either have to make more, you have to go and find another side income, or you have to lower this. The problem is, most people in today's age, they see Instagram, they're like, oh, I need to spend more. They need to, if you can't make more money, you need to lower this. So I don't know what this is for you. Do you have to move out your high paying rent? Do you have to sell something? You have to live below your means in a bare cycle-ish that we're in right now. Because you're not going to be able to get as many coins as you can if you've got an income problem. A lot of people right now, they've just put in as much money as they can and they're, they're just leaving it. I think that's a bad strategy because I think we've got a whole six months of solid gains of investing to come. If we're going sideways, if we're going down, you can do a lot of damage. So you have to find out, are you going to make more money or are you going to lower the spend? That's for you to decide. For me, I want to make more money, okay? My DeFi pools are paying so much, I'm getting free coins. That's another strategy you can do. I talked about that before. I'm not going to talk about this too much. But you have to decide how you're going to play this game. Because it doesn't matter if you have the mindset and everything else that we're going to talk about in this video correct and the coins, etc. If you can't even get in the game, you can't even buy the coins. You can't even DCA. You can't even do anything. Okay, so rule number one to you, I would pause the video right now and I would say, okay, how can I make more money or how can I lower my expenses? Do you know how much you're spending a month? I do. It's a lot. But I'm making more than that so I can invest in cryptocurrency. So how can you lower expenses right now? What can you take off the table Put it all in a spreadsheet. Netflix subscription, phone bill, rent, car insurance, maybe life insurance, bills, food, etc. Where can you squeeze an extra $500 off that? It's difficult. Difficult. You might have to do the beans and rice diet. You might have to. Maybe stop buying the chocolates. That'll do you some good favor. Maybe stop drinking once a week. Maybe stop doing that stupid thing. Maybe you spend $200, $300, $400 on this stupid thing that you know you shouldn't be doing it. Get rid of it. Now you've got four or $500 at the end of every month. And it's not $400 or $500. That could be 5000 by the bill run. So if you can do that for six months, it's 3 k That could be 30 k by the bill run. Dead ass serious. Most important one, along with the mindset. Now, number two is coin allocation. So once you've done that, I always prefer to go a sniper approach. Super important. A lot of people have this machine gun approach to cryptocurrency investing where they have 100 coins in their portfolio. I'm not joking. I've spoke to guys in my private group that I've got 50 to 100 coins, and I'm like, what is going on here? You've got $10 here, you've got $100 here. Is that the best strategy? I would say no. Because if you have a 5 to 10 to 15 max portfolio, e.g. the coins, you can do a lot more damage if you're chucking $500,000 every single month. 
you can really accumulate so many coins. If you have 2K to invest right now, and you're okay, you're like, okay, I want 20 coins. That's $100 each. It's hard to move the needle, man. It's really hard to do any single damage. Yes, you're going to have some home runners that are going to perform super well, 10x, 20x plus. But still, it's not going to be much. So this is what a solid portfolio looks like, in my opinion. Now, again, this might not be the coin allocation. It's just a random image I found. But you can see how it's nicely spread, okay? doesn't have too many coins. More of a safe portfolio. And we'll talk about coins as well. But you can see how it's much more of a sniper portfolio. And then this is what a shit portfolio looks like. E.g. it's messy. I just duplicated the same portfolio. Well done if you noticed. But this is not a joke. They've got five coins here, five coins here, five coins in this exchange. Five, and it's just a mess, man. Unless you have hundreds of thousands of dollars, this would make sense. Then you can have some moonbags. But if you're the normal person that has 2K, 5K, 10K, 15K to invest, five to 15 coins maximum. And you stick at that. Maybe you swap along the bull run, you take some profits, you roll over, etc. But that's as far as you take it because this will not do anything. And then you're constantly managing this. You're looking at this exchange. How do I sell this coin? It's very messy. Number three, stay on path. Don't let the noise take you away from this mission. So I've got a little link here. And how many times has the news or anybody interfered with your cryptocurrency investing? That might be you right now. If you look at the prices and Bitcoin's at 56, you're like, God damn it, man. Is the news? Should I just sell? We're not going anywhere. Bitcoin has died 415 times. What I mean by that? Well, if you just go on this bitcoindeaths.com website, you can see how many times Bitcoin has died, okay? And you can see the timeline, exactly what's happening. So August 2024, all these deaths, if you scroll all the way back throughout the history of this cryptocurrency game, Bitcoin's doomed to fail, the rise and fall. You know what's always happened after this? We've went on fantastic bull runs. And that's the same for anything, man. If you come on <laughs> freezing cold takes and you start scrolling down and up, e.g. 2005 or 2006, everyone's always asking me when Apple will come up with a cell phone. My answer is probably never. All the people that, you know, hold iPhones today, probably you have an iPhone right now. They wanted to invest in the Apple stock. They're like, oh, okay, we'll just look at this noise. We'll just ignore it. You know what happened to Apple stock? Continue to go up. It's the same thing, man. So you can look at the news right now. You can see your co-workers. You can speak to your mum and dad. Maybe not the best information because they'll stop you from investing in cryptocurrency. Because look, how many times Bitcoin is doomed to fail, especially in the last kind of after the bull run, you know, last stand, Bitcoin's going negative. It's all going to zero, right? Well, these guys have been continuously wrong and they will stop you investing and they will make you fearful so again, the main message, this is really a mindset thing that we talked about at the start, is stay on path, man. If you know this is the game you want to play, don't let any noise take you away. Because all it takes is a Jeffrey investor to set up a good portfolio and then one bad news article to come, he looks at the price, like, okay, maybe I'll try and time the bottom again, or maybe we'll just sell and that's it, cryptocurrency's dead. It's always been wrong. You know where we're going. Bitcoin and Ethereum are going to go continuously up. And if you know that, you almost laugh at this, like, bitcoindesk.com website. It's the reason why it was created. For people like us that just want to go and laugh at this and just keep yourself accountable. So, again, stay on path. Don't let the noise take you away from your mission. Number four, why are you even doing this? Chances are you want to make some money. So, you should have some targets. E.g., if you like Solana, okay, and you invest a decent amount in Solana coin, don't do what a lot of us did in the last bull run. If you're waiting for $500, you never got it. And you're still waiting for it, right? So you wasted all this four years of crap to be at 131 right now. So you still haven't even realized any gains. These guys, they were like, okay, I'm investing at under $1 Solana. Yeah, scary, but that's how fast this thing moved. And they said, okay, I'll start taking profits, maybe $30. And then I'll take some dollars at $50. And then I'll just let the rest run. They made all the money. It's the same here. Good investment right here. Nobody was talking about it. Solana's dead right now. It's funny that. They had profit-taking strategy. So your Solana right now, if you're looking to get investing, the problem is with Solana is you're not going to get these 100x gains anymore, 250x gains that the guys got here. Your strategy for a coin like Solana might be, okay, I'll just take profits at the previous all-time high. I'll maybe let the rest run to like four, five, six, and then we'll start getting out of the game. Or you go into cryptocurrencies 
and you go into the Solana ecosystem and you find coins similar to Solana, maybe that's Jupiter for you, and I'm not telling you Jupiter is going to go to $250, but you might be like, okay, with a smaller market cap, I'll start taking profits on this $8, $10, etc., etc. And that really sets yourself up. But you know what's funny? It's a mind game again. So it's all coming down to your mindset. Fifth one, most important one, is getting out the game. So my story in 2021, I lost all the money. I had everything set. I wasn't scared when we started to dip. A little bit scared we went to 60 to 30K, but I still held in the game. But my biggest problem is I didn't know how to get out of the game. I didn't have any profit-taking strategies. And what happened was in 2020, when I started to invest in Bitcoin, Ethereum, and some other coins, I was holding for 100K Bitcoin. I was holding for a 10K Ethereum. Same thing as before. I didn't have profit-taking strategies. So you have to know how to get out of the game. Because again, right now, what I was trying to do in 2020 was accumulate as many coins as possible to sell for the dollar value. But my dollar value was so far stretched, so far stretched because of greed, because we had to hit 100K Bitcoin, right? And we probably built this bull run, right? It's a little bit different now. ETFs, etc. It's the next bull run. We should go higher. But if you're holding for 250, 500K Bitcoin, you're going to be like me in 2021. That has to ride it all the way back down and wait an extra four years. So take that story from me and get out the game. Whatever that is for you, whatever your dollar value is that you want, have some profit-taking strategies before that and let the rest run because you'll make so much money before that before you even need to worry about the absolute rest. That's all I really got.